Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, so last Friday, we had what is called a coronal mass injection take place. Basically, what that is, it's a lot of energy that was emitted by the sun, and that energy reached the Earth's atmosphere last night. So when that energy kind of interacted with the Earth's atmosphere, the end result was that right there, a beautiful display of the northern lights, which was visible big time across the northern United States, up into Canada, but even as far south as our area, even down into Tennessee, some locations got a pretty good light display late last night. Not sure if you had a chance to see those northern lights. And in case if you're wondering, hey, is there going to be another chance tonight? I really don't think so. The chances are very, very small. We'll be seeing anything more like that again as the energy has pretty much bypassed us. Nonetheless, it was pretty in spots last night. A pretty afternoon as well. Lots of sunshine on the cool side, certainly. 56 degrees is the latest number. The humidity 26%. A north-northwesterly breeze in here right now between 5 and 10 miles per hour. So around the metro we go. Well, that's pretty uniform right there. 54 to 56 degrees across Jefferson County. And as we pull out and take a look at all of the viewing area, yeah, low and middle 50s. The warmest temperatures, 57, 58, showing up downstate Kentucky. Everybody will kind of hold steady the next hour or two, and then we'll see a fairly rapid drop as we move deeper into the evening. Clouds are thicker the farther north you go. Even a couple of spotty sprinkles and very light rain showers. All of that will stay well north of us. We're expecting clear skies on this Monday evening around here. So grilling out, jog around the block, a walk around the block. Here's what you can expect. Middle 50s will turn into the 40s, especially later on this evening with mainly clear skies. Okay, now when you wake up in the morning, few clouds will be rolling through, but it will be dry, and it's going to be another chilly start. I think just about everybody will be in the middle and upper 30s once again, and uh, some patchy frost, still a pretty good bet. The absolute greatest chances east of Interstate 65 late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and for that reason, the National Weather Service has issued a frost advisory for those locations east of the metro. So a couple of clouds passing through first half of the day tomorrow. It's a dry day. That's the good news. Matter of fact, those clouds are expected to uh, scour out for the afternoon. So lots of late day sunshine and temperatures not bad. Still cool. We should be in the low 70s this time of year, but we're getting closer. Better than today. We will reach the low 60s, really top to bottom around the region, expecting 63 right here in town. Next rain chance, let's talk about it. This is Thursday. Watching that little bubble of low pressure out there in the uh, central plains, that's going to get a kick off towards the east and northeast. So clouds will be thickening during the day Thursday, and I think late day Thursday night, and also into Friday morning. That'll be our next chance for showers rolling through the area. Here's your forecast for this evening. It's dry, clear skies, quiet, cool. 50s will settle back into the 40s and then eventually the middle and upper 30s by early tomorrow. Starting out at 38, a few passing clouds. Those clouds will thin tomorrow afternoon. A nice afternoon. High temperatures around 63. Will be 65 Wednesday. There's that shower chance late day Thursday, Thursday night into Friday morning. Then I think we're going to get a window of dry weather in here Friday late day, Friday night, and Saturday morning. Rick, Jennifer, you know what that means. That bodes very well for those KDF events going on late week into the weekend. We'll get another rain chance in here Sunday as well. Of course, those balloons are very, very sensitive yeah. to the yeah. slightest wind. Right. So I'll continue to watch things real closely for you. But everything is starting to green up. So a rain every now and then is yep. really nice. For kind of washing out the air flowers. from time to time. That's too, nice. Because the pollen is so high. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right.